I'm Jessie. I am the master trainer for iHeartDogs.com. This is my dog, Abby, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to teach your dog to walk on a leash. So, what I have here, I want to show you because it is the only piece of equipment I highly recommend for dog training. And what Abby's wearing right now is a front leash, or a front clip, or a chest clip harness. Now, I love a front clip or chest clip harness because it does half of your work for leash walking. You don't have to do much if you have one of these because what it does is if your dog pulls on the leash, it naturally turns them back towards you. And that's what you want to tell your dog. So it learns when I pull, uh, it naturally turns right back to the owner. And so this is great because it doesn't put any stress on their neck and it does the opposite of a back harness. A lot of people put a back harness on their dog and that's actually what sled dogs wear and it's designed to have your dog pull on a leash. Um, and so you're still trying to tug your dog back but that front clip naturally directs your dog back to where you want him to be. So the other thing that I have with me is a treat pouch. This is really good because you want to, again, just like any other behavior, tell your dog when he's doing the right thing or when she's doing the right thing. And so you need to go ahead and have some sort of reward or reinforcement. Now Abby loves treats, so I'm gonna use treats, uh, but you can use whatever your dog finds rewarding. It could be a ball, it could be just praise, um, but again, Abby likes treats, so we're gonna do that. So what we're gonna do is start walking with Abby. I'm gonna show you where to reward her or when to reward her. Um, and most people, they want their dog just walking right by their side. So that's where I'm gonna reinforce Abby when we walk. So I'm gonna have the leash nice and loose and I'm just gonna walk with her. Good. And I'm just gonna treat her for walking right by my side. Good, Abby. Good. Just, she's losing the treats. Good. So she pulls and that chest harness pulled her right back. So that's perfect. So then all I'm gonna do is reset her back up. Go this way a little bit. Good. Good. Now notice where I'm feeding Abby. I'm actually gonna cross my arm over my body and feed her right there because that's where I want her body to be. That's where I want her head to be. And if I feed her here or up here, she's gonna try to come this way all the time. Um, so again, that treat placement is really important. So I walk and I say good and I reach over and I give her a treat right by her face. Good. Good. Now notice, I'm treating Abby pretty much every step of the way. This is really, really important at first because if I don't tell her what she's doing right, she's gonna start pulling. Dogs don't know how to walk on a leash unless you tell them. They were not born knowing how to walk on a leash. This is really foreign to them. So you need to tell them, yes, I want you walking by my side every step of the way. And you have to start by rewarding every single step. And then you can taper off the treats so I'm gonna do that again, and then I'll show you how to kind of taper those treats back. Let's go. Good. 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 Change directions. Good. Good. Perfect, so Abby's doing great, and she's not pulling because I am reinforcing her every step of the way. I'm not giving her the chance to fail or to pull where most people do. They, they just let their dog walk 10 steps and then they're like, oh, my dog pulls. But they didn't tell them in those 10 steps what to do right. So right now, since Abby's doing a great job with that, and that might take a couple months where you're just reinforcing your dog right by your side, but Abby's doing great. So I'm gonna taper off the treats a little bit, but I'm gonna still use that word good to tell her when she's doing the right thing. So again, I'm gonna make the leash pretty loose. Set her up, Abby, come here. Good. 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 This way, good. 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 Good girl. Good. 
Good girl. Now notice that Abby was looking at me pretty much the whole time. Now I'm not saying that your dog shouldn't smell and explore because that's why we take dogs on a walk. For that reason, we wanna let them explore their environment. However, you don't want that walk to be your dog pulling you the entire time without any control and any attention or focus. So I actually like that she's looking up at me all the time because through time, she's gonna naturally learn, okay, I can smell around and check in with mom and kind of see what else is going on. But you'd rather have her look at you all the time at first and then you can she'll kind of on her own figure out, okay, I can do both. I can look at mom, I can smell, I can check out my environment, but it's really great that she's doing that right now. So we're gonna do this again, just to show you guys. Abby, come. Good. Good. Good girl. So again, putting that treat across my body. Good. Let's go. Good. Good girl, there you go. So she's starting to smell, but she's not pulling. She knows now. Okay, I'm gonna stick by mom, and I'm gonna smell and check in with her. Good, good. So the other really great hint about leash walking is change directions a lot with your dog. Your dog wants to stay keened in on you, and the only way he or she's gonna do that is if you're constantly being unpredictable and going different places and asking her or him to sit during that walk. You don't want a walk to be, I go for a mile this way, I turn around, I go for a mile that way. You're just asking your dog to pull then because your dog knows that route. So you wanna change things up. You want the walk to be a training session. So I'm gonna start incorporating change in directions with Abby, um, asking her behaviors during that walk as well. So Abby, come. Good girl. Sit. Good. Come. This way. Good girl. This way. Good. Good. This way. Good. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Sit. Good. Look at me. Good. Awesome. So she did great. And again, she's ready to go she's looking at me she's excited about this this is an interaction this is a training session and i didn't have to use many treats that time because i had her attention and i was asking her behaviors and i was saying that word good let your know you let your dog know when he or she is doing the right thing that's really really important good girl abby okay so a lot of people out there a lot of you will have those dogs that just pull 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 so Here's what you do when your dog starts pulling. We'll see if Abby can start pulling. So if she were to pull, you would stop. Stop immediately because, again, what is the consequence for pulling? So usually the dog pulls, the consequence is it gets to go where it wants to go. And then the pulling has been reinforced. However, the opposite, if the dog starts pulling and you stop and the dog doesn't get to go there, it's gonna be like, huh, why don't I get to go to that place? Oh, okay, it's because I pulled and I had that uh, leash be really tight. So you want to teach your dog, I get to go to that place if I walk politely by my owner's side. So what you would do, again, if Abby starts pulling, you would stop immediately, wait for the leash to get loose, and then you would change directions and reset her back up. Just like that. Good. Good. So if she were to pull right here, you would stop. You would do this little turn, set her up, change directions. Good. Good. And then of course, you're gonna tell her, now you're doing the right thing. Good. Good. So Abby's doing great and I can probably taper those treats off, but it's because she's doing very well. Now leash walking is probably one of the hardest behaviors to master because it takes a lot of time because you're dealing with so many other distractions. You're dealing with different smells, different people that your dog may see. So it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take a lot of reinforcement and rewarding your dog for doing the correct behavior and don't go too fast with this and then taper off the treats really fast because then your dog's gonna start pulling again. 
but now you know if it pulls what to do. Okay, we're gonna sap, we're gonna reset them back up, and then we're gonna put the rewards where we want our dog to be. So what I highly suggest uh, with this behavior is start in your backyard without any distractions. That's what you have to do. Um, Abby, come here. Good girl. So right now there's a little bit of distractions out here with Abby, but start in your backyard. When your dog's right with that, go to your front yard where there's a little bit of distractions. Then you can start going down different streets and going in your neighborhood. But a 10 minute walk where you're doing a training session during it and asking your dog different behaviors and making it interactive is better than a 30 minute walk going one way, turning around and going the other way. So you want your dog to be engaged physically and mentally on a walk. So make it a training session um, and it's gonna be way more enjoyable for you and way more enjoyable for your dog. And they'll definitely be less pulling that way. All right.